Aries, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to your singles reading for mid-January. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What we do in the singles readings, guys, we take a look at two different people you could be dealing with during this time period. We will also take a look at your energy with all the different signs if you're already talking to somebody or interested in somebody and you know their zodiac sign. All right, here we go. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to follow me on other social media. I'm everywhere under the same name, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All right, your first person. This is potentially somebody that you've dealt with before. It doesn't have to be an ex, but just somebody that maybe you already know um, that might want a second chance with you. Um, or want you to just kind of look at them different if this is just like a friend of yours or something. This is somebody who is very independent, doesn't need another person. They're not trying to fill a void. They're good being alone, um, but they might just be kind of over it, you know? Um, there's a lot of online communication here. They could be at a bit of a distance from you, but if that's the case, it won't be an issue. Let's get some more. Could be a Leo. Yeah, this is somebody you already know. Um, it's like maybe they weren't ready for anything before. Maybe they didn't have the courage to approach you in that way before, and now they do. This could be somebody you've even known like since childhood. You have some kind of past with. There's a real nostalgic, real innocent kind of feeling with them. Real familiar. If you don't know them in this life, then you could have a past life connection with them. Um, but it's like they, they've gotten up enough courage to approach you in that way to let you know that they're into them. This is the shoot your shot card and this is with having strength there. It's like they're strong enough to actually do that now. How do you feel about them, Aries? How will you feel about them? Oh, you feel like, um you're ready to start speaking to them again. If you haven't spoke to them for a while, if you guys have been distant, you're ready to kind of um, put yourself back out there, come out of hiding. Yep. Yeah. Um, you feel like it, this is kind of like a victory, like, wow, like I can breathe, like it's time, um, life is great. It, it's like you're confident enough to put yourself out there as well. Okay, let's get you an outcome should you choose to deal with them. Leaving the difficulties in the past, moving on to an easier way of being. Yep, Ten of Cups, happy ending, fairy tale shit, all the love, settling down, having the whole happy family, happy life, all that. This one looks amazing, Aries. Um, for signs there, I mean, Leo as a major, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, Virgo is a major too, but again, it, it doesn't really matter. Nobody stands out here all that much. Um, I would say this person, they're definitely, they want this to happen really fast it's like they've been waiting and now it's kind of time to like look at the whole situation and just go for it. All right, this next person over here, potentially a cancer. Um, you could work with this person. You could have met them through your job, but this person's got something else going on. So let me just get some more before I speak on that. Okay, so this person, 
you might already know them too. And whenever you guys connected, it, it wasn't the right time because they were already dealing with another person. It would have resulted in a love triangle or maybe they had you in one before. Um, <clears throat> but that's being cleared away. It's like they're letting go of someone else, letting go of a third party situation, becoming more emotionally open and actually ready to commit. We have Taurus and Cancer here. Um, but they're ready to move forward. This is, you know, they're ready to just go for it, move forward, be more emotionally open and move towards something committed. How do you feel about this person, Aries? How will you feel about them? Hmm. That's interesting. We've got the Six of Swords on both people here. The Ace of Pentacles. You feel like they're not able to commit. You feel like they're not stable. You feel like they need to leave something behind. But I think that that's what they're doing. They might have just not told you yet. All right, let's get you an outcome should you choose to deal with them. It's, well, somebody's not wanting to walk away. And temperance, Sagittarius. So somebody is going to feel like they should walk away, but they're not going to. And um, because of that, it kind of brings balance back to it, harmony back. It's a real zen, real calm, really peaceful feeling. So it looks like whatever's happening here gets resolved if you choose to deal with them. You don't have to, obviously. All right. I'm going to get you one of these oracles, guys. This is like if you have someone in mind that maybe you're not speaking to them or maybe you are and they just don't talk about their feelings. This is what they would say to you if they could. Whoever's on your mind, Aries, take a deep breath. Focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Aries? I left you before you could leave me. Okay. All right. So let's get you in the other signs. Majors you have here, Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Taurus. Aries dealing with another Aries. They don't have the confidence to approach you. They feel like you get a lot of attention already. Aries and Taurus. That's a new person expressing some new feelings to you. Aries and Gemini. That door's closed. Aries and Cancer. There's some communication issues between the two of you. You might not be speaking at all. If so, it's not healthy communication. Aries and Leo. Oh, well, they're going to be confessing something or you're going to catch them in a lie. Aries and Virgo. That's a very balanced connection. You guys are both giving the same amount of time, energy, effort. Um, they could like to gift you with things as well. Aries and Libra. They feel like it's a waste of time. They're not willing to put forth any more effort. Aries and Scorpio. That is too heavy and needs dropped. Somebody is dropping that. Aries and Sagittarius, they're very guarded emotionally. Aries and Capricorn. So if you guys have been distant, you haven't spoke to them for a while, whatever, um, I would expect them to resurface. Aries and Aquarius, lots of love, lots of emotion. They are emotionally available. Um, they have genuine feelings here. Aries and Pisces. So that would be like an ex of yours. This is a soulmate, but it's very disconnected, lacking harmony currently. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys take care. I will talk to you in another day or two.